हमारे पीछे कुछ लोग पड़े हुए सर ंगीरोना was doubtful about the script i i was i was doubting whether they were really serious about making the film but they were we had lot lots and lots of fights we had uh, we actually me and gorov we had a big blast argument outside a five star hotel in bombay which is like the premium bombay hotel and he was like shouting at me i'm shouting at him and things like that it was going crazy and then shubham came in he's my best friend since college and i told them that you know if you want somebody to play my brother and it has to be him because you know he is my brother and he's an actor and then we collaborated with that and i think we sat on the script we were like every day we on on set it was so hot in pushkar where we were shooting rajasthan and to wear whatever the overcoat and everything you know and to do that be on the mud every single day we were actually going through challenges no rest for 40 days when you first uh, heard about this story and you received the script what was your reaction about the case about your character oh do you know the cases like that of course there are many there are so many in india like i remember my grandmother used to always always you know try to scare me saying that somebody is going to come and you know kidnap you so don't go running out it's a very normal thing it's like uh and 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 my mom and i'm a bengali family bengali mothers and grandmothers are very very possessive and obsessive about their kids so i was grown up in this you know very very protected environment I must always hear about stories about oh somebody will come and pick you up and it's like, it's it's actually so common that people use it casually so when i heard it for the first time i was like okay I, well, this, this is something which you always hear of what is new you know like what what is it that you're trying to achieve through it and then i think the minute i understood that my character the way he sees the world the way he sees you know reality how that reality changes in this one journey that really affected me because i remember a long time back i i was in an accident uh in karnataka on the road and there were there was a mob who was not trying to help us but they were trying to laugh at us they were trying to you know um ridicule the whole situation and i was like why why is nobody coming and helping and for my character to end up helping the the uh, female character in the story jhumpa i think that whole transition it was somewhere i felt it inside because i wanted that transition to happen when that mob was trying to ridicule me and my wife so yeah i mean i think uh, for me it was also also a little personal i feel like in this film your protagonist or your character made the most of the journey because yes. he was he changed a lot yes but what do you think was in the in the beginning so why was this position and how to relate in the situation like this how i mean do you know in advance you will be reacting in that way or is it normal the way how he reacted on on this accident i think it's very normal the way he reacted that's what i would say because it's it's always very scary to actually go and help someone because you don't know what kind of trouble you're going to fall in and that's how i've seen um the way things are you know conducted in our country where the cops are not really very very helpful and uh, they are trying to probably take some money out of you like the whole the whole corruption that works like that you know so you don't know after a point when as i said that accident or anything any mishap happening on the road and if you are going to help that person probably you will be questioned probably you will be questioned why you are there why are you taking this you know onus on you to help somebody helping is not so common do you still be helping in this of course i you would be. be of course i would be as abhishek banerji i would be there are times when i had like probably stopped my car to like you know help somebody a stranger and my friends would be like oh don't do that that person might be a criminal and the mistrust between humans that bothers me as a person yeah. and that i think what is that is what i was trying to channel 
through my character that how a person who is mistrusting the society the world how he starts believing in it and how he starts trusting probably you know in himself more than anybody else and that's the journey i think of the character in the previous conversation with Karan and uh, Raman, uh, we, uh, so they, they mentioned that their privilege being educated and living this certain life. But then in the film, those who are privileged, they're not experiencing these privileges. It means that it feels like it can happen everything in India, right? And your education or your privileged position doesn't won't matter. help you. It doesn't matter. Is it doesn't how you feel? Of course I do. Of course I do. I mean, it, you have to be very, very careful that you don't want to brush the administration uh, the wrong way because it doesn't matter. I mean, you need to be really powerful in India, really like politically connected or business-wise connected to actually come out of any situation. But otherwise, if somebody wants to put you in trouble, you can't be in trouble very easily. So that's why I think uh, the privilege doesn't, doesn't really exist uh, when you're on the road. Let me just put it that way. When in the highway, no matter who you are, you can be in danger. So what made you believe in this story? Just the way these two people were passionate about uh, the film, Gaurav and uh, Karan Deshman. You know, the way they came to me and they didn't, I mean, they were not, like, of course, they were not offering me anything because it's an indie film. And I had the passion of, you know, I really wanted to do something for Indian cinema and I want to support fresh uh, directors and fresh producers because I think that's what, when you become a, commercially viable actor. I think it's very important for you to give it back to, you know, the youth and, and the fresh uh, thinkers of cinema. And the, just the way they were possessed with the story, that made me believe that maybe there's something happening in this in the story. And look at us, we are in Venice right now, uh, premiering in Venice. I mean, that I, I, I think in the wildest of imagination, I had not thought about that. Probably wouldn't happen for the mainstream. Of course not. The, the stolen is as mainstream as it can get. It's a thriller and it's an action and it's like two brothers, emotions. There's a, there's a mother who has lost her child. This is very, very hardcore, true emotions, raw emotions in India. Um, um, so I feel that this is not really the artsy, independent cinema which people would consider, oh, this is different from what we are making. I think I've always believed that, that uh, you can make a commercial cinema from anywhere. You don't need to be a part of Bollywood or any other industry to do that. I mean, if you can reach the audience in, in today's time, when you can reach the audience through streaming services, you can make films from anywhere. And almost this film has been made without the help of Bollywood. And so I think, and, and this is just the beginning, I feel. Oh, my God.